Okay, guys. So, um, using uh, this, I was able to put on the uh, put it on the seal, such as that, and tap it with a rubber mallet. And I think it's sealed in there a lot better. It's uh, nice and flush around here. Uh, like we got no lip. It's it's uh, sunk in just a fraction there. Um, feels pretty smooth. Uh, what I'm concerned about is whilst pushing it in, while I was pushing it in, um, this little bit of rubber peeled away along the edge here. Uh, I pulled it out. I think what it is, as I look at the old one, is uh, I think it's that middle lip there uh, that ripped off. Now my logic tells me that that's not good. Um, I'd like to hear from you guys as to what you think, uh, whether or not this brand new seal is no good or whether or not this little rubber lip on here really makes much of a difference in terms of sealing. I realize that that probably seats in that groove there um, to do, provide some kind of seal but with this ring here uh, I'm hoping that would prevent it from popping off. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I think it's in there nice now. Uh, it's nice and, and even all the way around and maybe could work in just a little bit here. There's just a little bit of a a lip, but uh, if you guys want to take a closer look here around, see, let me see what I can find here. So, that right there, I'm a little concerned with, and just over here, but uh, I think it's a pretty good seal all the way around there. So yeah, this is what happens when uh, a non-mechanic uh, attempts to try to fix some of this stuff. Uh, belt blew off. Thought I could just pull the clutches and um, fix them. Then decided, well, I might as well replace the seal while I've got them off because it looked a little ratty, a little old. Uh, now I've done that and I think I've created myself more of a headache. So, drop me a line. Let me know what you think. Thanks, guys. Bye.